So guys, today I'm going to be ranking all Jurassic Park films and Star Wars films together. So let's get right into it. So guys, coming in at number 17, it's going to be Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World. I just feel like it has the least to it of all these films. And I feel like it's the least like creative and fun out of these. And... I just don't really like the opening at all. So, like, I was trying to watch it this morning, right? But I just found it a little bit boring because of the opening. As it goes on, it gets a little bit better, but it's not that good throughout the whole thing. So, guys, coming in at number 16, it's going to be Star Wars Attack of the Clones. I just, like, I've never really enjoyed this film. Every time I've come around to watching it, I've just, like been bored and i've just never really got an attachment to it and i've never really found any scenes that i properly enjoy the only scene i do like is like sort of the bit like where there's a bunch of like jedi and like i, I can't actually remember that much about it because it was a while ago i last saw it but you know i i thought it was like okay but it was just definitely the worst of the star wars ones so guys, this might shock you, but coming in number 15 is Rise of Skywalker. Before, I had it all the way up at like number 3 or number 2, but now I've changed my mind on it and it's like, and now I can see the flaws in it. It is still like okay, it's just like the flaws are there, it's noticeable, and I just like, I can't watch it, re-watch it that much. Like, for example, Avengers Endgame. Um, I might put a bit lower down than everyone else because I find it like really unrewatchable because of how long it is. So guys, coming in at number 14 is going to be Fallen Kingdom. And the reason for this is because as it basically just like it basically doesn't stick to what Jurassic World is about. It's about bringing down someone bring dinosaurs back to life. I and then a bunch of stuff happens, right, with them, like, everything gets all messed up. But this one is about making them extinct again and then selling them on, like, the freaking dark web. It's, like, it just doesn't work. Like, some scenes, you know, they're fine. Like, I did enjoy it a bit. It's just, like, I feel like the whole, like, story and, the, and the, like, I know, like, I'm just, like, most of the story just doesn't make sense. Which is why Dominion is lacking a bit too. So guys, coming in at number 13 is The Phantom Menace. I've never really found it enjoyable. The only bit I've actually really enjoyed really is the Darth Maul versus Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan fight at the end. Um, with the Duel of the Fates music. And other than that, I've not really found anything else in the movie that fun and exciting. Darth Maul's okay. I hate how they kill... Qui-Gon Jinn like that early. I feel like he should have at least been in the second film, which probably would have made it better. And, yeah, there's nothing much, like, amazing to it. I know it's, like, supposed to be first in Star Wars, so, like, it's not supposed to have that much, like, like, depth to it and all. Because it's supposed to be the first in the story, it's supposed to be introducing us to these characters and all. But, you know, it is, it's okay for what it's trying to do. And, yeah so guys number 12 is going to be star wars episode 8 the um, the last jedi i i found i find it quite enjoyable i like the opening like fight bit where like all the ships are there and i like the end fight but like all the stuff in between i just find like non rewatchable but you know they're they're good enough for like for like what it's trying to do in the film Right, a lot like a lot of people didn't like what they done with Luke Skywalker. I actually found it quite fun, like or quite good, like towards the story, and I just actually quite like I found it more fun than the the majority of people, but I still have to put it at this position in the list. So guys, just like um, Rise of Skywalker, I'm now putting Dominion at number eleven, and the reason for that is because. There are some flaws for for it, and actually there are a lot of flaws for it. 
and one of the biggest ones is that it's all about like locusts i i can't say properly and then it's like nothing to do with dinosaurs being out in the wild and it's all about gigging on and, like, and it's all about different things cure it's all about basically just curing the locusts and it's supposed to be about dinosaurs being in a wild now and that people have to like cope with that and like live with that but it's that's not what it's about at all and it's like people are just getting on with their lives now that dinosaurs can like freaking come out of nowhere now and just chomp off their heads it's like that's not that's that's not what anyone was expecting coming out of fallen kingdom so guys Coming in at number 10 is Rogue One. I found it quite enjoyable when I came out of the cinema. It's just, it's not that rewatchable really knowing that everyone dies at the end. Like, I just feel like it's just like a bit pointless to kill everyone off at the end. Like, at least maybe keep a couple of characters and maybe reintroduce them as older characters in like, for example, um, the new trilogy. Like, for example, like, like they were all like, pretty decent or good characters until you just decide to go kill them off of like andrew's gonna be like pointless unless there's something to do with like solo in there which like explains something in solo that like, explains more things to do with the overall stuff or like just explains stuff to do with like revenge of the Sith, or like just explains different things that aren't connected yet like unless something like that happens i feel like andrew's just gonna be pointless because all because that guy, that guy, and like the I, the main character of that show got killed off at the end of Rogue One, so it, the show is basically pointless, right? So guys, coming in at number nine is gonna be a new hope. I just like never really found that connection that a lot of people have, and I'm not old enough to have seen it in cinema, and I and I was never really it was never really part of my childhood because like the main ones I watched when I was younger was was a Return of the Jedi. I never like I never really watched like A New Hope like a lot until I was a bit older, maybe like like nine or something, eight or nine ish. That's when I actually probably started to get into watching like A New Hope and like the older ones. But I've always been like, quite a big fan of Return of the Jedi. That's why I put A New Hope like down there. Because I've never, like, I never really started watching A New Hope until I was, like, nine. And I just haven't found that love for it, as others have. So, guys, coming in at number eight is going to be The Force Awakens. I feel like people underrate it, like, a lot. Everyone says it's just, it's basically just copying A New Hope. It kind of is. But I feel like they do it better and I just find it more enjoyable overall right but there are some flaws to it and it isn't the best star wars film and it def but it definitely isn't the worst i just think it's somewhere in the middle there so guys seven is going to be star wars return of the jedi as you know i've been a big fan of it since i was younger i actually remember watching this it's when i was um when i i was about to go to cinema to see the Force Awakens. I actually watched this the night before, and then I remember like when I came out of the cinema after seeing The Force Awakens, I was like literally just like hyped. I was like dancing and all. I was I was like to be honest, I was I was only like six years old, so like you can't blame me. I was a kid. I was like I was tiny, and uh, basically I was just like addicted to Star Wars, and I I I've still love. I still love this film ever since. And I don't know, I just, I also just love Darth Vader and the green lightsaber in this film. I've always loved this film. So guys, coming in at number six is gonna be Jurassic Park 3. I feel like people underrate this film like a lot because people say it's one of the worst ones. A lot of people say it's around about like in my ranking of the Jurassic World movies and Jurassic Park movies. But for me, I really like it because I feel like it's a bit different introducing a new dinosaur that like that is basically just like hunting them down for the whole movie. And then I especially really like like the bit where um 
the lost person, right, the lost boy, right, hears it, what his dad's, like, phone ringing. And then his dad, then his dad, like, didn't have, like, the phone or something. And then he's just, like, and then he's just, like, the last time I had my phone was, like, when the Spinosaurus first attacked. And then they just turn around to see the Spinosaurus standing there waiting for them. I, I don't know. I just love whenever the Spinosaurus shows up in this film. I just always, like, feel amazing. And, like, one of the reasons that Dominion disappointed me a little is that, um, the Spinosaurus wasn't in it and a lot of people were saying that the Spinosaurus was going, was going to be in it so I got really hyped for that not knowing that you know they're just rumours so yeah so guys coming in at number 5 you're going to be very surprised at this one because nobody ever really has it like this high up on a Star Wars ranking or a ranking in general Solo a Star Wars story I actually really enjoy it I thought it was like one of the worst films of all time until I watched it like fully through I actually really enjoyed it and, th and I found it a little bit emotional at times and was, I forgot what times they are I forgot like how like if they were really emotional or just a little bit but like I did enjoy the film for what I was trying to do I can see why people might not like it as much but for me I, I really enjoy the film and I Think they've done a great job with it so guys coming in at number four is going to be jurassic world like the one that came out in 2015 i really enjoy it every time the indominus rex comes in i love it and i just feel like every time the indominus rex like appears i'm just like it's going down <laughs> sorry that that was I, I i'm so weird anyway um I just really, I just really enjoyed, like, seeing that for, like, the first time. That was, like, my favourite Jurassic World film for a while. And then I saw Dominion, that was my favourite for, like, a month or two. And then it was back to Jurassic World. Then it was, you'll see what my favourite Jurassic World slash Park film it is my favourite now. You probably can guess it by now, but, you know. Anyway, yeah. So guys, coming in at number three is going to be The Empire Strikes Back. I really like this film and I think it's like, even though I would say normally, I don't like it as much though because like people like praise it too much. But honestly, I'm not going to say that today because I say that, I used to say that like a lot for a bunch of films. But that is true. But I, I do really enjoy it. I do think it's one of the better Star Wars films. So guys, coming in at number two, which is also my favourite Jurassic World slash Park film, it is the original Jurassic Park. Th nothing can be the original. And in my opinion, like, I, I, I say nothing can be the original, even though Dominion and, uh, the, and Jurassic World were both my favourites at points. So... In my opinion, yes, they can make a movie that beats the original. But at the moment, my opinion is that nothing can beat the original. Jurassic Park. Like, oh, the Jurassic Park. Film. And I, I just, like, really enjoy it. And I, I, like, I feel like there's not much wrong with it. There's, like, one or two things. Like, there's one or two, like, hang plot lines. But anyway. Yeah. So guys, you could probably guess this one by now. It's the only one that hasn't appeared out of the Star Wars ones. It's Revenge of the Sith. I really enjoy it. I really like the battle at the end, like where it's Obi-Wan v Anakin. I find, I find it a little bit emotional at times, Revenge of the Sith. And I love the music throughout the whole thing. It's just one of the best Star Wars films of all time. One of my top three films of all time. And yeah. And I say one of my top three films of all time because it goes three Revenge of the Sith, two Skyfall and one No Way Home. Anyway, this film isn't about my favourite films. It's about my favourite Jurassic World and Star Wars films. So anyway, that's it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.